Hi out there in the YouTube world. It's me, the Puzzle Master, Billy, and I'm gonna be doing this video today on like deep underground government bases, cloning, and I'm even gonna in try to include the reptilians. So you can like be excited for that because. I'm going to try to do this video also, no editing, so I'm just going to do it from the top to the bottom, and we'll just see how it goes, you know what I mean? But, I really want you to think that, like, okay, every one of you is entitled to, like, your own individual opinion, so you have to hear me out for mine, because, like, we all have, like, our own individual experiences, so that's going to, like, obviously bias our own opinions, and... That's why it's really good to look some of this stuff up, like, hence me mentioning a lot of it. Um, and if you disagree with anything I say, um, just let me know below in the comments, and that way we can, like, both grow from the experience, instead of you just being like, I don't agree with that, and that's all you say, like, you should really elaborate, like, because if you could tell me why. I'd really like to, I'd like to know why, like, it would mean a lot to me. So, and also pretend that I'm just telling a story, and use your imagination, because the key thing with a lot of the psychic kind of stuff, um, or when it comes to, like, speculating about what's around you, given very little information, kind of like water dosing, like when they use a stick and they're like, they can try to find water, but they're not given any other additional information other than here's a stick in the forest, like, find the water, that kind of stuff. You can have an inkling for something, but not necessarily have valid information that supports it. And in this video, I'm going to really try to go over, like, some inklings that I have and some rationality that backs it up in our physical world. Um, yeah, so, I, I want, maybe if you've seen any of my megalithic videos, if you go back in time, I have on my channel, you could even pause here and go and see, but there is Puma Punku, which is in Bolivia, really close to Peru, and it's near, um, oh, I'm trying to remember, Tiotuanico or something like that, other ancient megalithic site, but... Uh, that is much more preserved, and actually has like a pyramid, like, go and look that up, it's so interesting. But, my main point of this is that it all got buried underneath mud, like there was like this huge giant landslide that came down, and they said this was about 10,000 years ago, which puts it quite far back, and if you go and see, there was even like a ancient aliens, uh, not that I'm, like, saying I don't agree with everything that Ancient Alien says, but um, what they do show of the stone, the stonework, is so detailed that it must have had advanced technology for that. And now, to go even deeper than that, is that obviously, with all of that being said, they would have had cloning abilities or, like, genetic comprehensions, because there's a lot of actually different types of people. Like, there's actually, if you look up pygmy people, um, they're people that are, like, half our size, and they're, like, tribal, and I watched a documentary on it, and they can, like, they're always singing when they're in the woods, and they always, they just collect honey and, like, natural resources that are available through the plants, and they even have, like, a common area where they trade and it's so old school, but it really goes to show you how our modern day civilization has risen. And the technological advancements, if you work that in tandem, then you can really see how there can be some advanced manipulation going on. Kind of like the 1913 Federal Reserve Commission, you know, and they signed all that stuff on the island. Jekyll Island. Please look that up too. Jekyll Island. Federal Reserve. 
There is just so deep with the families and the bloodlines. And it goes so, so, so far back that it really doesn't make a difference the last hundred years. Like, I mean, it does make a difference because that's in our timeline right now. But in the grand scheme of things, this has been going on for quite a long time. And when you see the different races, and there was even another one, um, uh, Homo Florensis, Florensis, something like that. They were half the size of the pygmies. Now, the pygmies are half the size of us. <coughs> now, and what's really surprising about that is that the pygmies are actually still around today. Like, they're still cultural, like, they're alive. Like, their culture in the woods, like, in, in the rainforests, they still exist. Um, the later one that I mentioned, um, they, for the most part, we think they're extinct. But, the Homo floriensis. And they are, like, so small. Like, imagine the fourth our size. That would be, like, to your kneecap. And these were carbon dated to be, like, ten or 15,000 years ago. Which is, like, really surprising, because that's still, even if they're not around today, like the pygmies are, it still meshes with our past. And it really goes to show you how influenced people can be. Um, yeah, so if any of you have also heard of Don Donald Marshall, Donald Marshall, uh... Please look him up, because I don't know if I necessarily agree with everything that he said, but some of the advanced technologies of the cloning and the underground bases really did seem applicable due to my past knowledge on MK Ultra. Because a lot of you people want to think that everything is just like hunky-dory hunky -dory, roses and candy, but there's actually quite a bit of, like, corruption out there. And it's really not that I'm trying to be negative, because I'm quite a positive person. But I would say that in order to change or draw, like, to make a change of the situation, you have to draw attention to it. Because if it's just held in the dark, in secrecy, and in all these occult things, it really will never change. And one thing that really surprises me about this is that if we think about, like, Big Brother, they are allowed to spy on us. Like, they're probably watching me right now trying to tell you all of this information. But, and catalog, and like, know how we think, and it just, it bothers me. If you look up a lot of, uh, there's this other thing called DARPA, DARPA, DARPA. I think that's what it was called, I'm pretty sure. Look that up. And there's these, like, spy drones, and they can literally see, like, a quarter from outer space. Like, and yet these high elite groups are just allowed to have, like, the Bohemian Grove, where they have, like, a secret meeting, an organization, where they're totally entitled to, like, cloak in privacy. That seems highly unfair to me. And especially when we relate that to the MK Ultra goings-on, where they have, like, like, tortured people, like, through, like, electroshock, and much more. Like, you have no idea, like, kidnapping people off the street... MK Ultra occurred in like 20,000, look this up, even on Wikipedia, it will tell you this, at 20,000 different organizations, all, and some of those including in Canada, at hospitals, daycares, all around the world, and like including in Canada. So if you really think that there's like no corruption, well, wouldn't it still benefit you as a human to know what they're doing behind those closed doors in these secret bohemian meetings because if you just look up moloch which is like that giant owl statue at bohemian grove it does not have good symbolic connotation behind it it's an evil god that you would sacrifice children in front of it's really not a good thing and then i was i watched this documentary on the bohemian grove and i even posted it on my channel and it shows Pan, the god Pan, with, like, deer legs, or, like, animal legs with hooves, and, like, an, anim an upper human torso, like, kind of like uh, Fantasia, but not like Fantasia at all, because it's scary. 
like the god Pan was like a pedophile god that's like all about sex or like, and that's what they got at the Bohemian Grove. I just find some of the symbolism is just so fucking in your face that I, I don't understand why it's just allowed to continue because it still goes on to secrecy to this day. Like, the mere aspect that we are thinking about what goes on is because there isn't total disclosure. There is a lot that is being held from the people. And, yeah. Not much love, though, because, like, it's only through love that, like, and forgiveness of those people that more of them can come forward for the horrible atrocities that they've allowed to occur. Um, yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>